Hi, it's Matt from Rough House Studios, and welcome to our product review of the VaporMax 5 handheld portable vaporizer from FlowerMade. First of all, I'd like to thank the guys over at wizardpuff.com for sending out the VaporMax 5 for us to review. You can check the description of this video for a link to this product at their storefront. Okay, here's what came inside the box. The VaporMax unit itself, instruction manuals, a wall charging unit with a vertical adapter, two additional screens, a cleaning tool, and a tool to scrape out the vaporized marijuana from the chamber. So let's talk about some of the key features of the VaporMax 5. The VaporMax 5 unit itself is very discreet and inconspicuous. It's well designed, it's made of aluminum. The whole outer casing is metal, it seems very durable, and it virtually seems indestructible. The battery pack is unique in this and it features two Samsung 2600 milliamp batteries uh, versus the one battery that you find in packs and many other vaporizers. It has a really long charge time and they claim over 10 sessions per charge with this battery. It works off of one single button on the side. That one single button will control the power to activate the battery to cut the unit on and off and also to activate the heat element itself. The heat element is a single automatically controlled heat element. It stays one constant temperature throughout the whole cycle. It is not adjustable. The mouthpiece is stored into a bottom compartment. You remove the mouthpiece from the bottom and you screw it into the top of the heating chamber at the top to complete the unit. Here is how you use the VaporMax 5. The first thing you want to do is to fully charge your device. You do this by plugging the wall adapter into a wall outlet and then plugging the other end into the charger base bottom. A red LED indicator will let you know that the unit is charging and when it turns green you'll know that the unit is fully charged. The second step is to turn on the device. You turn on the device by depressing the side button five times within three seconds. This will turn on the battery, which is indicated by an LED light on the front and side of the grill. This LED light also illuminates the heating chamber. Now the device is turned on, you're ready to add your marijuana. Slide open the heating chamber door at the top of the unit to reveal the heating chamber itself. Grind your marijuana and insert it into this heating chamber. Do not overpack it. When you screw the mouthpiece in, it will depress into the chamber about a half inch. Now you're ready to insert the mouthpiece. You can remove the mouthpiece from the chamber in the bottom of the unit and screw it into the top of the heating chamber. Now it's time to turn on the heating element to the unit. Do this by depressing the side button for three to five seconds, then releasing it. A red LED indicator light around the button will let you know that the heating element is on. When that light turns green, the heating element is up to full temperature and the device is ready to hit. Now the green LED indicator on the side lets us know that the VaporMax is ready to hit and so let's give it a shot. Really nice smooth hit. It's got a lot of resistance, so it lets you uh, hit the hit it nice and slow. And um, yeah, it's nice and smooth. It, the unit itself doesn't get very hot, but it does get pretty hot right around this little ring at the top. But it's really conspicuous, easy to use. You can drop it right in a pocket, it almost completely disappears. It just looks like a cigar or something sticking out of your pocket. Oh uh, yeah, let's give it another shot.
Yeah, that's how you hit it. And now here's my pros and cons for the Flowermate VaporMax 5. First of all, I like the oversized chamber. It's got a really big chamber. It lets you get a big hit in there, like a, a big fat bowl. And um, it's, it's lighted. I really love the light that's inside of it. So if it's dark and you're trying to pack your bowl, you can see in there, no problem. And you can also tell if it's spent um, when, when you can see that the light in there. So the, I really like the lighted chamber. Um, I also I really like the cost. The cost of this unit right now, it's on sale for $99.99, which is half the price of the PAX Vaporizer Pen, which is very close to. It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles, the games, and some of the stuff that you find in the PAX. But as far as singularity, function, and use, I don't think you have a problem there. Uh, it's very comparable. And it works really good too. It vaporizes uh, the marijuana thoroughly. Um, it's got a nice even heated chamber, so when you dump it out, you don't get a lot of variation and a lot of marijuana that was not vaporized fully. So that is something that, that is really good as well. Now here are some cons about the FlowerMate PowerMax 5. Uh, one thing I did not like about it necessarily is, I know they're going for simplicity of function, but the two different settings to turn the unit on and then to turn the heating unit on separately seems a little bit redundant for a unit that's going for simplicity. Also, this top, um, it's nice, it functions well, but it's so circular and round when you place it on the tabletop, it rolls off. And so it'd be nice if there was a flat spot or some kind of uh, notch on that to keep it from rolling away while you're packing the unit. And also the single setting for the heat element, I think is a little bit maybe oversimplified. I think a lot of people expect to have variable settings. If they have a really dried out marijuana, they may not want to have uh, such high heat. And if they have really wet marijuana, they may want some higher heat to, to get the vaporization effect that they want. So I think a variable heat setting might be a nice um, feature to add in the future. And that's my pros and cons. So in overview, I would have to say that I would definitely recommend the VaporMax 5 from FlowerMate. Uh, this is a really good entry into the handheld vaporizer market. I think the $99.99 price is a very fair price, again half the price of some other competitors out there. Uh, it's, it seems really durable, I like the ergonomics, it's easy to use, it's got some nice functions like the lighted inside that are really helpful. And it's, it's discreet, it tucks away, and just looks like a cigar tip sticking out right there, and you can take that off, it'll completely disappear. So yeah, if you're looking for a vaporizer, yeah, check it out, there's a link in the description. Uh, you can learn more about the product at uh, wizardpuff.com. Again, thanks to those guys for sending this for us to review. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to Rough House Studios for more cannabis culture videos, and thanks for watching.